Well, when they made this journey 50 years ago, the civil rights protesters who marched from Selma to Montgomery camped out. So for night one, at least, that's what we did as well. But this is not just about looking to the past. It's about looking at what issues were resolved and what still remain in the modern day. And it will surprise many that segregation in schools in Alabama is still a hot topic of discussion. That's because predominantly private schools have got white students and a lot of the public schools are predominantly black. We met one African-American parent who tried to send her daughter to an until then all white private school and this is what happened. A few weeks later we go to this meeting and there's like 500 people in this gym and we're like oh what, what's all this and, and then a gentleman stood up and he yelled at the board and he said you've ruined our heritage you've allowed this to happen and now you've ruined our heritage and I was like oh that's what I knew like because like, Shania was the first because black Shania student. was the first black student to be accepted into that school and that right then we knew like oh this is maybe going to be a problem <laughs> you know kids spray painted in the yard go back home and they created a website and a Facebook page and um, there's graffiti spray painted of a Shania being hung from a tree that said you know MLK is a homosexual I mean there was just all this like negative stuff and I'm like this is all brewing underneath well that girl has now been pulled out of a private school and is now being schooled essentially at home, actually in a church. Now we've walked a little bit further along from Selma, we're about 14 miles out of the town, and somebody's here to meet me at this school to talk about this subject, Dr. Larry Deshara, thank you so much uh, for you're coming welcome. out here. And you're essentially in charge uh, for Alabama for the schools in this area. Let, let's talk about what's going on at some private schools here. How can it be that private schools can choose their pupils in this way so that some people might see it was because of race. Well, mainly in the state of Alabama, private schools are just that, they're private. They get no dollars from the state government or federal government, so they pretty much um, can put together their own enrollment requirements. However, I think if you ask them, they will tell you that they do not discriminate based off of race, uh, but a lot of the public private schools are segregated. But, you know, there was a time in the past when the government said to schools in this area, you have to be mixed, you have yes. to be segregated. Now it looks as if they are much more segregated than they were a few decades ago. Why couldn't it happen again that the government steps in and said, look, you can't have an all white school or an all black school. Well, here's the reason, because they can dictate it when all of those children and all those schools were public schools and they were receiving state and federal dollars. You can dictate it. But once you become a private school, the federal government cannot force you to integrate your students into the public schools. Well, Dr. Deshara, thank you very much for joining us. So a very difficult situation, and it does feel like de facto segregation, at least, is going to remain in Alabama for the time being.